Okay, welcome. Welcome to the webinar officially. I am April McVertry and you are likely the parent of a struggling reader or perhaps you are a struggling reader yourself. I'm glad you're here. Here's what I know. I know that you have put your hope and trust in me this hour and I do not take that lightly. I am grateful for your trust and I am here to help. The things that I will be sharing with you in the next hour will help you and your struggling reader. I guarantee it. It is beautiful, life-changing information that I will be sharing with you. That's why I'm so glad that you gave me this time. I wanted you to take a look at this sweet girl on the screen. Does this break your heart? the fear that she must feel with their backpack as she's coming home from school. <clears throat> or maybe this, these children, does this resonate with you? Does this look like one of your children or perhaps how you felt when you were in school? And maybe as a parent, does this look like how you feel when you watch your child struggle and you just don't know how to help them anymore? Well, that is why I'm so glad that you are here. What is your greatest desire? Number one, put it in the chat so I can see why you are here. If you want to know how to help your child, put the number one. If you want your child to just love reading, put the number two. And if you want your child to be successful in school and in life, put the number three. And let's see who we have here in the, in the webinar with us today. So it looks like we have several. We have people who want all three. I want to know how to help my child, how to help my child love to read and for them to be ex successful in school and in life. Oh, I love it. I'm getting some wonderful feedback about your desires for your students. I'm so glad that you have taken this time. And here's what you're going to receive today just for coming because I appreciate you. You have things to do. You have other things that you could be doing in this hour, but instead you love and care about somebody so much that you were willing to attend a webinar in the hopes that you would receive something that would help them. And I'm going to give that to you today. I'm going to give you three things that have worked for my struggling readers every time. And I have been teaching reading for over 30 years. And these three things work every time. So just for your, just because I appreciate you being here and the care that you have for these struggling students, I have something that I want to give you. It's, it's a pretty good gift. It'll be at the end of this webinar. And I will also be providing supportive resources for you and your reader. You will be able to ask questions in the chat, in the email, and in the Q&A at the end. And then you will also have additional support in our Facebook group. At the very top of the chat, you will see a sticky message. It will be my email address up there. Learnreading.com is the website where you will, read. you will be able to go back after this webinar and kind of look over the things that we've talked about today. And then there will also be a link to the group where you can receive this additional support. It is called the Learn Reading Community. So... Let's get started. I'm going to take, teach you how to take the fear out of those vowels. Before the webinar officially started, I was chatting with some of the attendees and one of them said, I just need to know how to help my child understand what a vowel will say in a word. Because you know that vowels can say many different things. Sometimes they're silent. Sometimes they come in vowel pairs or vowel teams and it can be a mystery to your students. Am I right? Well, I'm going to tell you how to demystify those vowels. I'm also going to teach you how to help your student not guess. They will break their dependence upon guessing. We don't want good guessers. We want good readers. I'll teach you how to do this. I will also teach you how to give your child control over reading. They will be an independent reader and they won't need you. Do you ever come when you're reading with your child? Do you hear them approach a word, they don't know it, they look at you for help. Well, I'm gonna teach you how to help them look at themselves, look at that word more carefully so that they will have control over their reading and they will be independent. 
So a quick 30 second bio of myself. I am a dyslexia specialist, a reading specialist, a professional teacher, a teacher educator. I am a community presenter on the topic of learning disabilities and dyslexia. I'm the developer of the Learn Reading Program and I'm the author of a few books. <clears throat> and my favorite out of all of those titles is Wife and Mother. My second favorite is Teacher. I love teaching and I am grateful that you are allowing me to teach you how to teach your children today. Okay, so I'm going to hop back over to the chat. Would you pick one of these words that best describe, that best describes how you are feeling and why you came to this webinar? How do you feel? Do you feel inadequate, frustrated, confused, or hopeless? Go ahead and put in the chat. Now, I am seeing this chat, so nobody else will, will see it, but let me hear how you are feeling coming into this webinar. Okay, we have inadequate, hopeless, frustrated and confused. I am going by the end of this webinar to help you feel adequate, clear, at peace and full of hope. Give me an hour and I will give you those opposite feelings for what you might be feeling right now. So many people are saying that they're just frustrated and hopeless. Oh, wow. Well, okay, give me some time and let's fix that. Let's change that. So we're gonna start with Barbara's story. Now we have had a few technical difficulties with my moderators. So I'm going to give them a second just to see if they are on board and are able to start this video. But I'm going to do it. All right, here's Barbara's story. I cannot recommend April McMurtry and Learn Reading enough. It's because of April McMurtry that my children know how to read. Both of my first children are dyslexic and uh, my oldest was 13 before anyone had ever mentioned the word dyslexia. So by the time I met with April, I just could not believe that anything she had that she could do with my kids would make any difference at all. Um, but she kept such positivity where at that point with him, no one could even work with him, but, but her. <laughs> so he's 16 now and he's so independent. He earned his driver's license on his own. He loves school, loves reading. It's just really, it's really such a blessing. I love her story. Her son <clears throat> is Chris and he just wrote me this card. He just graduated from high school and he just wrote me this card. Let me just read the last part of it to you. It says, Thank you for helping me turn a key to a door that leads to the brightest and most happiest future I could ever hope for. And I could not have it without you. Thank you so much again. I cannot say it enough. Thank you. Is that amazing? Oh, I'm so happy for that boy. I, I want this for you. He was a struggling reader and now he feels like he is on top of the world. I want you to take a minute and imagine this because I am here to tell you that it can happen for you too. Imagine what it would be like for your child or your student or yourself to go from fear and confusion to joy and peace and confidence when reading. This is Chris. He just graduated from high school and I'm going to teach you now what I taught him. So number one, is the vowel placement strategy. This is what we talked about earlier about if you are confused about the vowels, if your student is confused about the vowels, here's what you do. I'm going to give you the first tip in the vowel placement strategy. It's called the tap two rule. Now get ready, take notes, because this is one thing that I really want you to take home to your students, okay? 
Number one, when you come to a vowel in a word with a pencil, you don't have to mark in a book, but or even with your finger, tap the next two letters. So when you come to a vowel, go to the next two letters, one, two, tap them. If one of them is another vowel, then the vowel that you're on will say its name. That's called the tap two rule. When you come to a vowel, tap the next two letters. If one of them is another vowel, the vowel that you're on will say its name. Okay, it's so simple. Do you wanna try it? I want you to try it. So let's take a little quiz. So based on what you just learned, Let's see if you can apply the tap two rule so that you will be ready and equipped to share it with your child. So number one, is this the word crand or craned? If you come to that first vowel and you tap the next two letters, the N and the D, neither of those is another vowel so that A will not say its name. It will say its most common sound, ah. Number two, is it stell or steel? Number three, I'm gonna ask you how you did at the end. Is it tris or tries? Number four, is it plossy or plosy? Now here's a trick you might not know. Why is a vowel if it is not the first letter? I have so many trips, tips and tricks and things that I could teach you to take the mystery out of reading for your kids, but that's just a little sneak peek. Why is a vowel if it is not the first letter? So is this plossy or plosy? And number four, is this crane dut or crane doot? So let's see how you did. Number one is crand. Number two is stell. Number three is tries. Number four is plosy. And number four is crane dut. Now, how many did you get right? Put it in the chat, I wanna see. Now, remember these only come to me. Everybody doesn't see these, only me. Did you get, did anybody get all five correct? Let's see. All right, we got, I only missed one. Well done, because this is a brand new rule. All of them, well done, Melinda, wow. Okay, so you understand then. Nice, Misha, you got them all too. Wow, okay, so you understand then. Then the tap two rule. Isn't it simple? Do you think that you will be able to share this with your child and will take the mystery out of the vowels for them? Let's go over it one more time so that you can feel a little bit more confident. When you come to a vowel in the word, tap the next two letters. If one of them is another vowel, the vowel you're on will say its name, okay? So I see one person here got number four wrong. Let me just explain that Y is a vowel when it's not the first letter. So when you come to that O, if you tap the next two letters, that Y is technically a vowel. So the O will say its name. So that's Plosy. I'm glad that you mentioned that in case somebody else had, had a question on that one too. So how do you feel? Is that enlightening? That one simple trick that can change everything for your child. But speaking about changing everything, I do have some even more amazing game-changing tips coming up. <clears throat> but first, this tip and all of the techniques that I will be sharing with you today are in one of our Learn Reading courses. It's this course is called the How to Teach Reading course, and it has all of these tips and techniques explained in much more detail. This link at the bottom, right underneath my head there, let me take my head off for a minute. If you go to enroll.learnreading.com slash how to teach reading, you will be able to access that course. However, I will be sharing with attendees of this webinar um, link, discount links for all of these courses at the end, if you are interested. But this is where you can get this course individually. Okay, so <clears throat> next mind-blowing, game-changing tip, pencil reading. Put a pencil on their hand. Make it a multi-sensory experience. 
here's what you do. Now, before I go on, you might have seen the small print in tip number one that said must be used in controlled text. This also says must be used in controlled text and with the vowel placement strategy. What that means is if your child is going to give up guessing and relinquish their desire to guess, then they must be set up for success and they must read print that only has words in it that they have learned the techniques how to read. That is called controlled text so that they won't have to guess. They will know how to read all of the words. And we'll talk more about this controlled text coming up. Okay, so pencil reading. With that controlled text, you place, okay, so you don't wanna do this in a book with a pencil, but the Learn Reading Curriculum has printable worksheets that you would actually print out and work on your, on your own on your table. So don't mark in your book, obviously, but this is how we do it in the Learn Reading Program with our pencil and with our worksheets. When you come to a word, you dot each sound. That allows you to know that you know what sound that letter is going to make. And there's no mystery and no wondering as you proceed through the word when you go to blend it, you will know that you know the sound of each letter. And the vowel placement strategy, that tap two, when they come to the vowels, they will have time then before they go to blend the word to discover what that vowel says. So when they go to blend those sounds together, they will already know what each sound and each vowel is going to say. So step number one in pencil reading is you dot each sound saying the name of the sound as you go. Number two is you connect the dots blending those sounds and that is when they read accurately. This becomes this allows reading to become a multi-sensory experience for them. It engages more the senses than just their eyes. It engages their auditory, their tactile, their kinesthetic, their visual, and it engages their focus on each grapheme because people guess when they are fearful. This allows them to know what each sound will say and exactly how to sound out a word. A lot of times, well-meaning parents and teachers will say, just sound it out, and they are like, what the heck does that mean? I have no idea what sounding it out means. This teaches them what you mean when you say sound it out and it puts them in control. That pencil really does change everything. I wanna show you a video of Audrey and Ava um, doing pencil reading in person or, or live so you can watch them. Here's their video. <laughs> Dimmer. Beautiful. There is more, but did you see how that worked? How does that make you feel when you see these struggling readers now getting it? Are you feeling the excitement that I feel every time I work with these struggling readers who don't struggle after I send them home? They are having trouble when I get them. They have success with that controlled text while I have them and they go home with a smile. There is more. Okay, let me share some more with you. I want to, I want you to hear it from a parent on how she feels watching her child finally, finally get it because of the pencil reading. She says, there's something about using that pencil that allows them to blend to the end. She says, that was the magic bullet. Here's Mary. Old dyslexic son used to just look at a word, see the first letter, and then just guess at it and would not take the time to sound the word out. 
and we had tried many other reading curriculums and nothing seemed to make it click for him. So when I saw the Learn Reading Master course, I thought, I'm gonna try that out and see if it'll work for him. And there's something about taking that pencil sound by sound and blending to the end that was the magic bullet that finally gets him to look past the first letter and sounding out the word. All right, so I hope you're getting excited and I'm hoping some of those words that you used to describe your emotions at the beginning of this webinar are now beginning to change to more hopeful. All right, so there's more, my friends. There is more wonderful tips and tricks to help your student. But first, let me hear from you. Will you try this? Melinda says, this is exciting. Oh, Ayasada, what a beautiful name. She says, that is awesome. This is an awesome connection for the readers, Wanda says. Yes, it is a beautiful thing to watch. Will you try it? Amber says, yes, I will try it. Thank you. Your student will thank you. And there's more. I have more to share with you. Okay. <clears throat> now this pencil reading is really ideal. It's ideal for any reader, but it is particularly suited for students with ADHD or dyslexia because of the multi-sensory component, because of the control it puts in the student's hands. And for those ADHD kids, it helps them to focus because they're moving and they are concentrating on keeping their eye, their auditory, their visual, and their kinesthetic all lined up so that no letters are lost. And if you, uh, so I have a course called Teaching Tips for Parents and Tutors that addresses how to teach students with dyslexia, how to teach students with ADHD, how to teach kids with, and this is when I, when I mean teach kids, I mean your own children, right? Because we all work with our kids at home at homework. This is for parents and tutors. I help you understand how to work with kids who are grumpy, who are frustrated, who just don't want to do it, who just don't know how to do it, who don't get it. And there's tips for you on when you are grumpy or frustrated or don't know what to do next. This is where you can get the teaching tips for parents and, and tutors course, but attendance, attendees of this webinar will be getting a discount link at the end if you're interested in that. Okay, so this number three, technique is what I really want you. If you have any distractions around, shut the door, do what needs to be done so that I can have your attention for number three. This is essential for your student to overcome their reading struggles, okay? This works. The give a goal strategy to give student complete control of their reading, you, here's, here's the key. When they make an error, you don't tell them the word, you tell them the error. That's it. I'll go into, I'll elaborate what that means, but please remember when you are reading by your child and they look at you for help or when they make an error, you don't tell them the mis they don't you don't just give them the word that's not teaching them to read that's teaching them to be dependent to guess to just that they can't do it so you'll just help them we want to teach them how to be dependent i mean independent confident readers not good guessers so when they make an error you tell them the error and let them fix it for instance if they miss an L, so L's, R's, and N's, if you notice from now on, when you listen to your reader read, if they make an error, it is probably 90% chance that that error will involve an L, an N, or an R. Either they will have omitted them in the word, or they will have inserted them where they don't belong, or they will have rearranged the order of that letter in the word. Those are just problematic letters. You'll notice now that I've said it. So if per, if by chance they are reading a word and they insert an L, for instance, after an S, let's say the word was side and they said slide. 
instead of telling them the word, you would say, that word doesn't have an L in it. That's all you say. And let them do the rest. Let them do the work. So then they will look at that word. They will have that goal in mind. There's no L in this word. So if they begin to say soul, they will stop themselves. They will be their own teacher. They will go back, eliminate that L, and say side. This is when the magic happens, my friends. This is Julian. I'm, I want you to watch this in action. Now, Julian, let me just take a quick look at the chat here. Okay, so when I got Julian, my friends, he was a non-reader. Not much younger than you see him in the picture. The word, the sight word, the, was not in his reading vocabulary. He was not a, he was not a low reader or below grade level. He was a non-reader when I got him. Now I want you to watch him read his first eight letter word. I have a video to show you. Watch the smile at the end. And it's because he is working this out on his own. I am going to tell him that there is not a letter, a certain letter in this word, and he's going to try it three times and, and fight it and work it out on his own. And then when he gets it, he will have got it. He won't have gotten it from me. He will have got it from himself. And that smile at the end, boy, is it well-deserved. Okay, let's watch Julian in action. So it's a D, D, no, okay, okay, D, E, S, T, R, E, K, T, D, R, E, D, E, S, T, R, E, K, T, D, R, E, S, T, 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 R, E,
So all three of these techniques are called the McMurtry method and the, they are what I designed the learn reading program around. The learn, oh, I wanna show them to you. Okay, in, in action. So this is Hayden. Hayden, let's see, I got him when he was probably in sixth grade and he was struggling pretty significantly. He was learning at home at that point and his parents brought him to me because they weren't sure what would work for their son. I'm so glad they did because he just needed the right type of teaching, which is what I'm sharing with you today. So you're going to watch Hayden use all three parts of the McMurtry method. He's going to know what the vowel will say. He's going to use that pencil and he's going to imply, employ the give a goal rule, meaning he's going to do all the work himself. I'm not going to tell him the word. I'm just going to tell him how to read it. Okay, let's watch Hayden. And I love his little boom at the end. Watch that. He's so excited. E. How did you know that said E? The double tap. Good. One, two. O. E. How did you know that said E? Because there's no vowel mm -hmm. right there. Good. K. T. E. D. Now connect the dots very slowly. E. What that first L, what that first E is e. going to say. Good. O, e, k, t, ed. Slowly. E, o, e, k, t, ed. Elected. Uh. Millie strictly insists her dress is trendy. Wow. That Boom. was amazing. All right. Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Oh, I love what I do and I'm so excited for you so that your students can begin to have some of these same smiles and these same successes. Okay, so let me just explain a little bit about this program. First, let me just ask, do you believe that this can work for your child? I do. Yes, uh, Melinda says, I already have two students in mind that I want to use these techniques with. Yes, Kathy is feeling amazing and stress-free, Amber is feeling relief. Do you believe that this can work for your child? I do. Over the last 30 years, I have worked with hundreds, maybe thousands of struggling readers that run the gamut of severity levels. They have worked for all of them and I believe they will work for your child too. Okay, there is hope for you and your struggling reader. Okay, so at this point, you have those three techniques. It's, a, it's kind of a very surface, the tip of the iceberg of what these, how to implement these techniques, the vowel tap, pencil reading, and give a goal. But you have been taught enough now that you can teach your child how to have success today, how to have better success today. Immediately, this can work for your child. However, if you want them to have 100% guess-free text to practice with so that they won't have to revert back to guessing, then controlled text must be used. Look at this picture, this is Megan. And this, her mom snapped a picture of the first time that Megan realized that she could do this. That is that picture. And it is these techniques, the learn reading program and controlled text that finally put that smile on that sweet girl's face, okay? So this, uh, here is a link to where you can get that curriculum. It's, it's the most common package is a membership, but it also comes in workbooks. But the, if you are interested in that curriculum that has this controlled text, that's where you can get it. I will also, let me move my little head if you wanted to write that down. It's at learnreading.com slash membership. But I will also have a, some, like I said, some discounts for, for attendance of the webinar if you are interested, okay? So just to teach, to 
tell you a little bit more about the Learn Reading program. It is Orton Gillingham, which if you are a researcher of reading programs, you probably know what that means, which means it works for dyslexic students. It is multi-sensory frequency based. It's also based on research based. It's also frequency based, which means I introduce the letters and sounds in the order that they appear in everyday English print, which allows your student to read in the real world quickly. The first five graphemes is what we call them, graphemes and phonemes that they will learn is in lesson one. By lesson 10, they will know the 14 most common graphemes and phonemes and how to read them in, in English print, which is most of what they will see. You will be surprised at how quickly they progress in this program, okay? It is an online course with printable lessons. There are also workbooks available for those who don't want to print them. It is parent guided, but student led. So do you remember I was talking about giving the student control over their reading? They have control over these lessons. They know what to do. They know when to turn the page. They know what the directions are. It is parent guided so that you can hear those sounds that they will be missing so that you can give them the goal on how to read the word correctly. But they love taking control of these lessons. And that also helps for kids with ADD or ADHD or kids with low self-esteem or low confidence. It puts them in control of their reading. It is a, an entirely comprehensive program <clears throat> It includes vocabulary, fluency, fresh phrasing and expression, decoding, control blending skills, phonemic awareness, sight words. It's all in there. It is also very fun. I mean, in every lesson, there are games and activities to make it fun. I don't want this to be boring. You don't want it to be boring. And your student certainly doesn't want it to be boring. So we make it fun and we make it in bite sized little pieces. Each lesson has 10 pages and each page is just a bite-sized assignment for those with ADD or ADHD whose attention spans might not be too big. And then we intersperse fun games and activities all along the way. They're learning and they're having fun doing it. It is an 80 lesson program. It takes typically about 10 to 20 months and the monthly membership is $39 a month. I'm going to give you a discount for a lifetime membership here in a little bit, if you're interested. Okay, so the kids are happy. Do you remember those words at the beginning? Those words that when prior to the webinar, I was talking to some, some parents about how their kids are feeling and I was getting words like anxious or, or scared, confused, frustrated, just kept coming up over and over and over. Well, these kids are no longer frustrated. Look at those smiles. And you saw them with your own eyes. How happy they were when they knew that they could do it on their own. And parents are celebrating, my friends, because you know why. You've been there. You know what it's like to watch your child struggle. And you know what it would be like to watch them succeed. These are just a few of my happy parents. And I want you to have that same experience. So here is where I'm going to offer you those discount links. Let me just pull this up here for you. Okay, so if you do want a discount for one of the Learn Reading bundles here, you would press on this button and it would take you to the website. But here's, I'll just give a, a brief description of what they include. So bundle number one includes a preschool packet that I'm giving you for free for emerging readers, or if you don't have one, you can give it to somebody else. You would also get the Teaching Tips for Parents and Tutors course, which has those tips on how to help students with dyslexia and ADHD who are frustrated or grumpy, or how to help yourself when you are feeling frustrated and grumpy. That is the Teaching Tips course, and here's a 50% off link for that. The How to Teach Reading course discusses all three of these techniques in depth and in detail. Okay, that is also half off. And then I'm giving you a $50 discount for members of this webinar. If you are interested, there is bundle number one. Bundle number two includes the dyslexia screening. <clears throat> so if you are also interested in finding out if your child is or is not dyslexia, dyslexic and want to know what works for those kids, 
this. This dyslexia training will give you the resources and recommendations on what to do if your child is dyslexic, as well as a, an individualized report specific to your child. So that is this little bundle. Um, if you're interested, that is where you can receive bundle number two. And bundle number three, they're all at that same link. You can choose if one of these bundles works for you. This last one includes the, the whole program in workbook form. So you would have the digital copies in the, in the membership as well as the hard copy workbook. Some people like to have those workbooks for their child so that they don't have to worry about printing off a lesson as they go. This also includes all eight supplemental readers with which are books that contain stories that only have words that they know how to read in the lesson that they are in. So they will never be, they will never come to a word that they don't know how to read. Remember, we want to set them up for success and never allow a reason for them to guess so that they can become confident readers. So all of those are there for you if you're interested. Now, I want to hear if you have any questions. I'm going to leave that discount offer up while we have um, a, a little bit of question and answer, but then it, it will go away. And it's not on the website. If you decide after the webinar that you want that discount, I'll still give it to you. Just email me. You can email me at contact at learnreading.com and I'll still give you that discount. I know it's hard to make a decision immediately, right? When so much information that you've just been given. So questions. Okay. I have a question here. Do you pay everything at once or is it $39 a month? So the monthly membership, if you go to learnreading.com slash membership, you will have a choice of the monthly membership or the lifetime. The monthly membership is $39 a month as long as you need it. That's, and you get everything that you need. You'll get all of the training and the, um, the worksheets, the stories, everything that you need, not the supplemental readers, but there will be controlled text stories for you in those lessons. And that's all, that's all you would pay. It's $39 a month as long as you need it. Okay. If you have questions, put them in the chat. Is this a program for teachers as well? So yes, we have professional school site licenses and professional tutor site licenses. We do have tutoring clinics and professional tutors who use the Learn Reading program. It is ideal for distance learning because it can be done on remote so easily. They just print out the lesson on their end, you have it on your screen and you go through it together. Um, and so yes, schools can use it, tutoring clinics do use it, and we do have a list of professional tutors who do use it, which you can be included if you want, or you can let me know if you need a tutor and we can provide one for you. Okay. Um, what method can I use for high school students? Some are struggling readers. I'm glad you asked that, Elena. So this program, so I developed the Learn Reading program specifically for adults who cannot read. I have a course just for them. I haven't mentioned it in this webinar, but I designed, I kind of dedicated the whole learning, Learn Reading program to those adults who are struggling to read. So I do have specific courses for them if you need it. But the curriculum was designed for older struggling learners. It will not insult the intelligence of any learner. In lesson one, they are already being challenged because I throw L, N, and R in there. Do you remember we talked about how hard those, le those letters are? Those are also among the first five most common graphemes in the English print. So lesson one is already a challenge. Lesson two, they are already reading multi-syllable words. By lesson five and six, they are reading words like transatlantic and ecstatic. So it will not insult the intelligence of older learners. All right, let's see here. So yes, it will work for you. And yes, it can work for your high school students. Amber says, I found you and your program last year and I'm so grateful. Oh, welcome Amber. Okay, more questions. We have, I'm a bit confused about the vowel tapping. What do you mean by the vowel? We'll say his name. Oh, thank you for that question since they usually have multiple sounds. What I mean by say its name is it will say 
the name of the letter. So A will say A. So it's long sound. I don't mention the terms long and short very often with my students because there are so many things for those students to remember about the vowels. They have to remember the shape that they make when they go to form them. They have to remember the name of the letter. They have to remember so many different sounds that it makes. They have to remember when it makes those sounds, when it is silent. I don't want them to also have to remember what is short and what is long. So I just mention that the vowel will say its name and I teach what that is. That means the name of the letter. So on like on the word plosy that we did before, the O will say its name. Well, this is how I how I just how I teach it to my to my kids. I will say, so a vowel was walking along a word and <clears throat> it comes to another vowel one or two doors down and it gets excited. So it says, hi vowel, I'm a vowel too. My name is O. And it, that's how the students will remember that it will say its name. It's introducing itself to the other vowel that is one or two doors down. I hope that helps. Um, okay, yes, the program works for adults and for students. Can I repeat the membership website again? Yes, it is learnreading.com slash membership. Or you can just go to learnreading.com and everything is there. And you can also always email me at april or contact either one at learnreading.com and I will help you. Okay, uh, you are welcome. You are welcome, Wanda. I think we, I have given you a lot of meat to chew on, and I am excited for you to take these steps with your kids today, immediately. Now, you have remained with me to the end of this webinar. Email me, and I'm going to give you a free PDF of the book, the, of, of the Teaching Tips for Parents and Tutors course. It's the entire ebook of the entire course. I love that course, the Teaching Tips course, and I love this book. I mean, I guess that's tooting my own horn a little bit, which is a little awkward, but it's just a fun book. And so I wanted to give that to you for free. So email me at april at learnreading.com and I will send you that PDF. Here is the website, learnreading.com, where you can, you can find anything that we've talked about today. And here's the Facebook group where you can receive community support. And also you can ask your questions there, not just of me, but of everybody that who is using the program so that you can hear it from them as well. And if you know somebody else who needs this information, let me know. Um, I will have a, a, a webinar replay link for people who are also interested in this information or send them to the community or just send them to me in my email and I will do what I can to help them. Okay, so I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day because you care about somebody and you love them enough. You could be doing other things today, but you want to help them enough that you came to this webinar. And I hope that now you feel a little more hope than you were feeling at the beginning. Do you remember all of those words that you mentioned? You were feeling frustrated and confused. And now I am hoping that your path is a little more clear for what your next step is for your student. Thank you for all that you are doing for them. You're appreciated.